All right, if we're lucky enough to make this, then um, it's dope because uh, this is the uh, entry to uh, the Skyway and it seems like it seems like we're in there. Okay, so you can see right here. We are in the money now, okay? So that right there, uh, to the right, you'll see right there, there's a sign that says Skyway uh, S3, stage three, keep left. So that is our ticket home, okay? And um, just for the sake of, uh, you know, for just for a tip, you know, just, just make sure that you're, you're uh, RFIDs are intact and loaded with money so that you don't hold up the traffic around here, okay? Um, you know, some people forget to load up and uh, it really takes a bit of a time to, uh, to, to get through whenever you have somebody that's, uh, that didn't load up or whatever, you know? So just a uh, word, word from the wise, just, um, just load up. So you, you're not part of the problem, okay? So here we are, Casson Avenue entry to Skyway Stage 3, okay? So it says here that a, a class one, which is my vehicle, would cost you 129 pesos, okay? And uh, for a class two, it's like 258 pesos, okay? And the uh, auto sweep, they look like this. This is the card, okay? See, this is exactly what I mean, guys. So this guy right here obviously does not have a valid tag and maybe doesn't have a load or whatever because it says there on the status of his board, uh, I mean, of, his, uh, of the screen. Okay, see, I'm loaded, so I get through really, really fast. Um, all right, so we're on the Skyway Stage 3 right now. And the uh, speed limit here is 60. 60 is very, very slow. Um, I'm talking about kilometers per hour, okay? So if you convert that to 
miles per hour, that's like, I don't even know, man. Maybe like 40. All right, so you can exit from there to G. Araneta, okay? G. Araneta, you can exit. That is the first exit that you can take. But I don't know why would you go up on Quezon Ave to just exit on G. Araneta. Um, maybe you're rich. Maybe you're bored. Uh, but that's just like two or three streets away or whatever. But uh, I don't know. Don't ask me, man. Someone will do it. Or probably when you make a mistake. You, you got up on uh, Quezon Ave and you made a mistake. You want to turn around. Take the G. Araneta right away. And that will take you back down really, really quick. Because once you get stuck up here, um, your next exit is like 12 kilometers away. And that's probably why they made that. I don't know. So we're on. To your right is an SM. Uh, there's plenty of SMs that you will you will see on the horizons as well. I mean, on the horizon as well. Um, but that's one right there. SM City Santa Mesa. The Skyway opened up, man. Um, really, really beneficial to a lot of people, especially the ones that are going south and north. That ain't got no business being down there. Where, I mean, under the Skyway, where there's a huge, heavy traffic jam. Um, you know. When this thing was not around, man, everybody got to go through that. Even though they don't have any business of turning left or turning right, uh, all the other stop points down there and stuff, you know, together with the uh, public transportation. I mean, there have different kinds of public transportation here, like motorcycles, tricycles, um, multicabs. Jeepneys, cars, you know, like grab all that, all that stuff, and then, um, and then they also have the um, buses and stuff, you know, uh, and uh, UV expresses and stuff. So I pretty much named most of the public transportation that we use down there. I mean, that we use that's that that's down there and stuff. Okay. So all these private vehicles, I mean, most of these private vehicles, you know, don't have no business down there. So they, they much prefer to have something like this. That they just get on and just keep going on and on without, without a whole lot of stop or, or whatever, okay? So the only stop that people do here is to exit. That's it. So, you know, that from Quezon Ave to, to the next uh, exit is like, 12 kilometers man that's a whole 12 kilometers of you know no traffic and stuff you know no slowage or anything like that you know whereas if if we were down there you know under the, this uh skyway 12 kilometers man that could mean like hours of traffic jam waiting 
you know so really really thankful for this and a lot of people think that this is expensive to cross here or to, to ride the skyway is expensive but you know what man it is well worth the headache not only the headache also vehicle, ma vehicle maintenance wise cars I mean vehicles that are not stopping and going every second and stuff you know they the, the wear and tear on those are, are, are you know are worse you know uh, they're, they're, they're worse you know they're it's not good for the engine it's not good for the brakes it's not good for everything man it's just not good for everything um, so you know is 129 really that much to enjoy the view or, and to um, not get caught up in traffic jam and all that stuff man it's it is so worth it dude 129 i'll pay that all day long man just to cross through here and not deal with the traffic down there anyway you see the beautiful sight right here this is this is this is nice man because you see to the right is like manila to the left is like uh makati and um all the skyscrapers that we have here okay not really so high but you know still pretty nice so we just passed the uh <clears throat> nagtahan exit and um that is the second, okay? From Gironeta, that was the second exit, the Nagtahan exit, okay? So the next exit that we're looking for here is the, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to confuse you. I don't even want to guess because I don't want to confuse you because it's going to go on record. But... We have coming up in one kilometer. You can see it right there. No guessing. Buendia. Buendia. Buendia is the next exit. Okay. So, to name it again. We have the, we pass the G Araneta, we pass the Nagtahan, we pass the Quirino, then we're here in Buen, Buendia. Okay, so I believe this is where we can start going up to 80 kilometers per hour. Is what I meant. Right there to your right, that's where Buendia dropped down. And then we are coming around to our next exit. which is Naiya X. So the next one after Naiya X is Bikutan, then Sukat, then Alabang. Okay? And um, unfortunately, I can only take you all the way up to Naiya X. Okay? But that is the the next exits are coming up, coming up after Naiya X are Bikutan, Sukat, and then Alabang. Okay? Then after that, that's going to drop down. This is going to drop down to SLEX, okay, which is the South Luzon Expressway, okay? So I uh, hope that you uh, have a, uh, you know, a, a better look now of uh, the exits, okay? Um, and uh, I'm going to upload this thing as fast as possible. Um, it shouldn't be 
needing any more edits or anything like that. It's just going to go straight up. So, um, yeah, guys. So, right there, I hope that you um, enjoyed that. And uh, let's just finish thing, this thing off when I exit at Naia X. So, as you can see right here, it was, it's, already, it's already giving you signs to uh, keep right if you're going to go to Naia X. And Naia X is what? Naia X is the Ninoy um, Aquino International Airport. And um, your best. This is why, why this is why it's also you know having a skyway is, is best because it really saves you a lot of time when you when you have a flight coming up or you're coming home and stuff okay because this will take you all the way to the airport through the next highway called expressway called uh, Naia Expressway okay so um, from Skyway it's a link to Naia Expressway the best the best you know see that to your right right there down below well, you, you probably can't see it but to your right down below uh, at this point is like the EDSA and stuff the dreaded EDSA see we didn't have to go through all that coming from Quezon City normally you have to take the EDSA to get to um, Quezon City and stuff but we didn't have to go to do all we didn't have to do all that All right, so I'm gonna merge to the right because that is where Naia X is. And I'm just gonna go all the way to the right. And here we go. Back then, this is like um, actually, it was this was designed to be like one road exit or one lane exit, but um, you know, lately it's be it's even becoming like three lane exit. Oh, actually, there you go. Um, it didn't I mean usually it, w it was it wasn't like this, but they split it, man. So now there's like two lanes, and in the afternoons. When there's heavy traffic, it's like three lanes, man. They, they just jam it up in there, so and it's causing traffic, you know. If everyone just stay on one lane, you can go do 90 on that. If if you know, if there's if everyone just stayed on one lane, man. All right, so. This is bonus from Skyway. You can ride the Skyway to the Naia X and you can take your first exit to Terminal 3 and 4. Okay. Um, terminal 3 and 4 will take you to international and domestic flights too. 
okay? Um, you can exit from down there. We're on the Iya Expressway right now. This is another uh, expressway that has a toll that you need to pay for. It's like 45 pesos or something like that. Okay. To my right is the uh, Resorts World Casino with all the uh, hotels around it, Marriott, um, Sheraton, this thing and that, Belmont Hotel, um, yeah. So this one right here still uses the um, the same RFID, which is this. So we're using that again. Still has balance. So they're pretty, pretty strict here about the 60 kilometers per hour maximum, okay? They have these guys just like scanning you um, from afar. I got caught up here one time, you know, and it sucks. And um, they have this little um, tower here where the guy is like hiding. I've seen him before. And um, it's actually, he can easily spot you from this lane, you know, because this is <coughs> along the, uh, that hut, tower hut, I'll show you. That's coming up on my right hand side. There's a guy that's hiding there. An enforcer is hiding there. Can you see it? See that 60 sign right there? Just right behind that is where this dude's hiding. See that hut right there? That one. He's hiding in there. Will scan you and then you will get apprehended around the bend here and I'll show you that too so he takes a photograph of you too over there and so when you come around here his fellas are waiting right where you see the um, the blinking light. That's where you're gonna get stopped. They're gonna show the picture to you that you went over the speed limit. 
okay? This is where they, uh, this is where they bag and tag you, right here. So, right over there is where they tag you, and that's where they bag you. Not literally. Anyway, so, that exit right there to your right is the exit to the Terminal 1 and 2, which is the international and domestic departure and arrival of the NAEX. And so this ends this uh, this ends this uh, vlog. Okay. And um, just to let you know that uh, this thing also connects to the uh, other expressway called the uh, Cavite Expressway, or known as Cavitex. Okay. And I am going to take that. Just show you a little bit of it. Shift over to the other lane because the fast lane has become for slow drivers. All right, guys, I am out.